G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If it is your first time, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, drop a comment in below. I'm revisiting the new XMG300 today because for a few videos now, I've been going through the new X Trident uh, just to put it through its paces and see what new X have delivered in the Trident. I've uh, I've enjoyed New X's offerings over the years. I've got a couple of small pedals, uh, mini pedals, a Looper, which is very good. Um, yes, it's their clone of a uh, Boss um, RC Looper, small one. Um, the New X Monterey Vibe, I really like that because it's a, a very good emulation of a Uni Vibe. And the MG300, I thought for an entry level um, multi effects pedal for practice and home use, um, had some great sounds in it. What did the Trident offer? The Trident offered um, a solid housing geared to, to live use, um, nice soft switches, easy to edit and, and store um, patches that you build for a gig live. Lots of ins and outs, lots of ins and outs. Um, but not stereo. It's got dual outputs. It's got um, XLR and uh, jack outs as well as uh, an effects loop. But not stereo. It doesn't have stereo effects. Doesn't have true stereo uh, delays or modulations or reverbs for that matter. It's MIDI assignable. I haven't delved into it. Um, it's got mini uh, MIDI jacks on it. Um, but. For, for sounds, for sounds on this, the tones are identical to what you can get in the MG300. Same amp modules, same capability for IRs, uh, IR loading, and all of the drives, modulations, delays, and reverb patches are the same, exactly the same. Now, when you get the MG300, you think, Fairly nice tone, fairly nice tone. Um, you've got lots of capability to get different different amps um, and amp tones very very quickly. With the MG300, you also get an expression pedal. You also get a drum machine. You don't get in that. You don't get that in the Trident. You've got a looper in the MG300 as well. You got a looper in the Trident. You've got a, a clear screen on the MG300, and you don't have that on the Trident. Would I use this live? Maybe. Um, if I had to take a, a very compact board out somewhere, I might incorporate it because it gives me an expression pedal, um, gives me the option to store maybe three patches in there, um, add, add a drive pedal in the front of it, one of my favourites perhaps, and pull a decent sound live. Just one output straight into a line into the PA. Exactly the same tones as what you get in the Trident. It's what you get in here. So what I'm saying is, for 400 bucks more, I think we should expect more from UX sonically. There should be true stereo outputs, there should be true stereo emulations of reverbs and delays and modulations in here. Now, unless there's been a new firmware update in the last week that I haven't been aware of, um, there isn't. You've got exactly the same tones as what you have in the MG300. And I think New X could do better if they're wanting to play um, at the top end of the, uh, I suppose, the gear ladder. Once you start get, so once you start paying over seven, eight hundred bucks, uh, you start getting close to a thousand dollars for a piece of gear. You want it to be pro gear. Um, that's not only robust enough, which the Trident is, it's, it's robust, um, but it should deliver sonically as well. Now, I would come back to the MG300 and say at its price point, um, it offers some great tone. 
really good tone for the price point. When you get up to the Trident, it's just, it just doesn't really cut it. Um, anyway, let us know what you think. Uh, I still, I still like the gear, there's no doubt about that. But um, they need to load something more into the Trident. Um, I still like this overdrive patch though. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Um, drop a comment in, as I said, below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.